Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code question and the question's name is transpose matrix. So in this question, we're given a 2D integer matrix and we need to return the transpose of a matrix. Definition of transpose means that we have to switch the matrix rows and column indices. The first row is becoming the first column. The second row is becoming the second column and the third row is becoming the third column. Now let's take a look at the input and see how this can be solved. So this is the input matrix given to us and we have to build the transpose of a matrix. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix meaning there are 3 rows and there are 3 columns. So we first build our result output which will be of the size columns into rows which is again 3 by 3. So it is important to build a new matrix because we can't do it in place if the number of rows is different to number of columns. So if it had 4 rows and 2 columns you can't change it in place because the output will have two rows and four columns. So it's important to build a new matrix. So I built the same output matrix of length 3 by 3. So now we iterate from left to right inside the input matrix. So it will start from 0, 0. So matrix of ij, i is row and column. And this is the transpose matrix will become ji. So it will start from 0, 0. So you add 2 here and you go on to the next element. It is 4. So 4 will be added at 1, 0. 1, 0 is this element so 4 is here now we go for the next element next element is minus 1 it is at 0 2 so it will be added at 2 0 now it go for the next element in the second row so minus 10 is the element it is at 1 0 in input it will be added at 0 1 in output 0 1 is here so minus 10 is added here go for the next element next element is 5 it is at 1 1 it will be added at 1 1 go for the next element it is 11 it is at 1 2 it will be added at 2 1 go for the next element it is at 2 0 it will be added at 0 2 go for the next element next element is minus 7 it is at 2 1 it will be added at 1 2 next element is 2 2 which is 6 it will be added at 2 2 and now we reach the end of the matrix so we end it so this is our final transpose matrix and that is the output so you return it as the output now let's code it up in java coming to the function given to us this is the function name and this is the input matrix and we need to return another output matrix so that is the return type now let's find out the number of rows and the number of columns inside the input matrix and the number of columns can be found out by finding the length of the first row now we have the number of rows and columns now we need to form our output matrix which will be of the size columns into rows So here we have declared the size of the output matrix. Now let's iterate through the input matrix. The outer for loop i is denoting the rows and the inner for loop j will be denoting the columns. Now transpose of ji because columns will be here first is equal to matrix of ij. So this will happen for all the rows and columns and we get the output inside the transpose matrix so you can return it. Now let's try to run the code. Our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is of m into n. The space complexity is also same because we are declaring output matrix. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.